Right, I'm at my friend's again, uh, another little free job, and he's useless, he doesn't know what he's doing with anything, he doesn't <laughs> even know how to bleed the radiator, so I'm here today, I've got a coffee out of him, going to bleed his radiators. A um, couple of little tips before we start, generally air in the system will generally rise to the top of the house, I mean you can bleed... We'll bleed the radiators on the ground floor and on the first floor and on, there is a second floor as well but generally the air will be probably in the radiator on the second floor, the highest point. Um, but we'll go through all the radiators, we'll bleed them um, and the second tip is as you bleed the radiators, if you, if you do get any air coming out of them, that you are losing pressure. The air is basically the equivalent of losing water out of the system so as the air comes out of the radiator, the pressure on your boiler will drop down. You don't really want the pressure to drop below 0.5. So the secret is bleed a radiator, go and have a look at the pressure. If it needs to top it up, top it up, then carry on with your bleeding. But don't bleed all the radiators, then go down to the boiler and it be on zero because then you've got to repressurize it. You're potentially going to put air back in the system at that point if you've let that happen. So, let's crack on and bleed these radiators. Right, first job, before I even bleed the radiator, I'm just gonna check what the pressure on the boiler is. We don't wanna start bleeding the radiators, the pressure's really low. If anything, put a bit of extra pressure in to compensate the pressure we're gonna remove when we bleed them. So, we've come to the boiler. Uh, it's, it's, it's only just below one, but we're gonna just top it up to one and a half bar. So how we do that, we've got a tap underneath here, we've got two taps, we're going to turn one and then by looking at the pressure, we're going to turn the other one, we can watch the pressure go up, let's fill it up to one and a half bar just to give us a little bit of extra, yeah, so we're on one and a half, the tap is off, now we can go on bleed a couple of radiators. Right, we're at the first radiator. This is actually in the basement level, where the same level as the boiler. So we've got the boiler here, and we've got the first radiator. I'm not really expecting the air to be down in the basement level, but we'll, we'll try it. So let's see. I might be wrong. Oh, no, look, it's just full of water. So that's done, that's full, and it's under pressure. Right, we're on the first, well, we're on the ground floor now. The other, the other radiator was in the basement. So ground floor, again, let's, bit of tissue. Yeah, again, it's just full of water. Yeah. Water again. Water again, so that's fine. Water again. Right, we're on the first floor now. We're in the famous bathroom. We've already done a couple of jobs in here and filmed them. So let's check this radiator. Oh, yeah, just full of water. So I've not been back to the boiler yet and put any pressure in. I've not even checked the pressure because I know I've only released a little bit of water out of each radiator I've been to. There's not been any air. That tiny bit of water that's been released, the, the boiler will still be well over one bar, so we can just carry on as we're doing it. So this is the final radiator on the first floor. Let's just check it. Yeah. Full of water again. Let's go to the second floor. And I'd expect if there's any air in the system, it will be in that radiator. Right, we're up in the loft bedroom now, so we're on the second floor. If there's going to be any air, it'll be the radiator. So. Let's just see. Right, as you can hear the air, this one's full of air. But what I'm going to do now, because I know that this, this is the one that's full of air and actually my friend's just told me that this one's not been heating up and it won't be heating up because it's just full of air. 
So what we're going to go, we're going to go down back to the boiler and check what the pressure is on now, and then we're going to come back and bleed it, and we'll, we can see the difference in pressure and how it how it'll affect it. We're back at the boiler before we bleed this final radiator that is is full of air. So the boiler is on just under 1.5. So we've been around the whole house. We've given each radiator a little bleed. It's only only water's come out, but. It's, it's been so little the bit of water that I've let out into this tissue that the pressure's basically stayed the same. So it's 1.5, so I'm not going to put any more in it now, but we're going to go and bleed that final radiator of its air, or partially. If, if there's a lot of air in, we'll do, we'll do some, and then we'll come back and check the boiler and make sure the pressure's not going too low. Right, guys. Out of breath, because I keep coming up, up and down these stairs. So let's get back on this radiator and get this air out. So I don't know if you can hear that, maybe come a little bit closer. Like I say, we don't want the boiler, put the, on the, the pressure on the boiler going too low. The pressure on the boiler will be going down now and actually because that I can hear the air water's not coming out yet but the air is actually slowing down a little bit it's not coming out quite as forceful to me that suggests that the pressure on the boiler is getting quite low so rather than keep that open we're going to go back to the boiler and we're going to add a bit more pressure to it right back in the basement now we hadn't bled that radiator for that long, but you know, even after that short time, I could tell the pressure of the air coming out was slowing. So we've come back to the boiler and it's, it's between 0.5 and 1. So we, maybe we could have took a little bit more pressure out, but really, yeah, we don't want it going much lower than that. So this is a good time to top it back up before we take some more air out. So we'll top it back up to 1.5. Back up in the loft bedroom to carry on venting this radiator. So, oh, water's coming out. So that final, final um, topping up down in the basement of the boiler has just pushed the last little bit of air out, and we've got water coming out of this radiator. So we are. We're full up, and I did put it up to 1.5 the boiler, but that, that that's fine to leave it at that. You know, I'd put the, the extra in. Normally, you top it up between 1 and 1.5, but 1.5 is fine. So, that's the job done.